for the last uh, session today, we have uh, Jean-Philippe from Canada, currently in Mexico, that is going to present um, the, uh, a Wikipedia project from Canada. Uh, he was supposed to be joined by uh, Benoit Rochon, but he will not be here because he is getting his vaccine, which is something we have seen in several people um, in this conference. So I guess it's a, it's a very interesting uh, thing. Okay, uh, Jean Philippe. Yes, uh, good day, everyone. You can hear me fine, yes? Very fine. Okay, so as uh, as she said, uh, I am Jean Philippe Bellin, and I'm from uh, I work with Wikimedia Canada, and today I'm here to talk about the project that we've been leading with uh, the Atikamekw First Nation. I will show you. So the Atikamek are a First Nation from Quebec who, who mainly, and they are 8,000 members and they're divided in three communities which, which each own speak its own dialect. But we chose them as our first project for our Wikipedia because interestingly, around 95% of their population still speak their native language, which is not the case for the vast majority of languages, native languages in Canada. So we, beginning, we began the project very small in 2013. It, I was approached by um, a linguist, a German linguist, interestingly, who was doing a, a research thesis in Canada with the Atikamekw and the computer class teacher of the high school, local high school and the academic community of Manawan. And they wanted to write, make the students write on Wikipedia in their language. So I, obviously I jumped on the occasion and that's how we started. I took care of the technical aspect and the students in class wrote, wrote content. And after that, there was some coverage on national broadcast about this project. And, and that's after that coverage that we had more interest and more participation for that project from the Atikamekw themselves, but also from other indigenous nations in, in Canada. So that's when in 2016, we really started the project itself, thanks to a project grant from the Wikimedia Foundation. So we, we organized our first in-person meeting in Manawan, where some volunteers from Wikimedia Canada, including myself, went to meet the academic there, joined by, by two pro university professors that are experts in communication and indigenous studies to make sure that, that we do things right. And, and the, we make sure that we included the, in the members of the nation, there was elected members of the councils, the school director, teachers from the high school, some elders, the language keeper of the community. So, so it was very important for us to get approval from their authorities since the beginning to make, to make sure that the project was, was accepted. So what we did after that meeting was to create a working group to coordinate the project. And one of the first steps that we needed to do, because the student during that time kept writing articles on Wikipedia in the incubator in class, but in order to get the Wikipedia outside the incubator, we needed to translate the media wiki interface. And that proved to be a big challenge for, for different reasons. And in total, we needed to translate, they needed to translate around 600 words in expression. And a problem was that many of those expressions didn't exist in their language. So they needed to create new words or expression. And it was very important. What we noticed, it was very important for them to reuse some words from the territory, some ancestral words that they don't really use anymore. They wanted to give them new purpose on, on the, in the computer world. And an example that they, they kept giving us is, is the, in most Indo-European languages, such as French or English, the tools that we use to point on the computer, we call it a mouse. 
But for them, they say it will make no sense at all to call that a mouse because it's just a rodent. So they, they, they translated it with just tool to click. So it's just one of many examples. They created a Facebook chat group to at the beginning to translate the, the media wiki interface. And, and one thing that I learned and I needed to insist with them and other volunteers from Wikimedia Canada was that it doesn't need to be perfect in the beginning because they could chat for, for two days, three days to translate one word. And I say, you're never gonna finish the 600 that way. It's a wiki, you can change it after. And once that, that concept was, was understood, it went pretty fast after that. And, and we officially launched the Wikipedia the following year on 2017 outside the incubator. And to celebrate that, there was a, a radio show in Manuan, a three hour special show just to, to talk about the Wikipedia and they read articles on the radio. And coincidentally, in 2017 was Wikimania in Montreal. So we took that opportunity to invite the Mustang drummers, which are our traditional singers and drummers from the Atikamek to do the opening ceremony. And throughout the conference, there was many presentation from the Atikamek. An interesting thing that we found out during that project that we didn't really expect as, as Wikipedian was that the project was very intergenerational collaboration because the youth, although they, they still speak the Atikamek language, they don't really know how to write it properly because they use, I guess it's like not in many languages, they use the chat on Facebook or the SMS and, and they, they do also a lot of creolization with French so they don't really know how to write properly. So the, the, they associated some youth who know how to use the computer very good to write articles with some elders who are very proud to transmit their language and culture to the youth who could revise the article or just help them to write properly. So now today in, in 2021, we have over one, 1,500 articles on the Wikipedia in Etika Mac. And, and one thing that I, I added on the slide is that there's three administrators on that Wikipedia that are from the Etika Mac First Nation. And that was also something important for us since the beginning, that they need to administrate their, their own Wikipedia. It cannot be us who do it. And we provided training to them at the beginning of the projects. So after Wikipedia, there was many other projects that led, that led to other interesting initiatives, such as the Niteskinan in pictures. The one thing that the, the academic mentioned since the beginning when they were writing their Wikipedia is that they didn't have any very good images or they complain about the pictures about their, themselves on the other Wikipedia in French or English. And I said, but it's the only thing available on Commons. And it was very old picture and usually from outsider from the community who took them. So we organized a contest to take pictures for the first time in 2017. So like that, we have more content pictures from relevant to them for their own article, but also pictures to illustrate all languages, Wikipedia with, with more modern images from them. Also during the Wikimania in Montreal, there was another project that we started to digitize archives from Bibliothèque et Archives Nationales du Québec, the National Archive of Quebec, because they had a font about uh, a First Nation in, from Northern Quebec and the pictures, the negative were being oxidized and they were being lost and the archive didn't have the resources to to scan them or take care of them properly. So thanks to the help of many volunteers during Wikimania, we could scan many of them and now they are available on Commons. Another, after that, it led to another project locally in Manawan, also to scan pictures where the, the local Wiki club organized some evenings where they invite the population to come and scan their own family pictures. And the one that are useful, they are uploaded to comments and they can be reused like that on the Wikipedia. 
Another project that we support at this Tapisquan CP, which is uh, the name of uh, a river. In French, the name of that river is Saint-Maurice, but the traditional name is Tapisquan. And every year, the Atikamek, they go on that river and led a 12 days canoe expedition. And there was nothing about it on Commons nor Wikipedia. So in 2019, we provided a micro grant to document it. And as such, we there was more than 300 pictures and video uploaded on Commons. And also there was a Wikipedia article created about the expedition itself on the Atikamek Wikipedia. We wanted to create this, the equivalent in English and French, but we were unable to do so because of the eligibility, eligibility criteria on those Wikipedia are more restrictive because there's no written sources about that expedition. So we couldn't create their articles in English and French. And more recently, this year, the the Atikamek they got they got a funds from there was a documentary called Les Six Saisons Atikamek, which means the six Atikamek season because the Atikamek indeed have six seasons instead of four like like most of us. And during that that the the filming of the documentary, the filmmaker took many pictures. So now we have access to those pictures with our in the public domain. So we added them to Wikimedia Commons. And we are organizing, um, we're documenting them in order to make sure that they can be reused on Wikipedia and elsewhere. So to identify what is on the pictures. Another interesting project that I'm sure I already been talk about during this conference is Lingua Libre, which is developed by Wikimedia Friends and that we can use to record the language, the words, I mean. So in Canada, we use it to record words in indigenous languages. And obviously we started with the Atikamek language. And now there are over 500 words that we were we recorded during Wikimedia in Montreal. We started, but after we, we did other sessions in Manawan. And those recordings are being reused on Wikipedia, the Wiktionary, and the Wikiversity. As an example here, there's the an introduction to Atikamek language class that I created on the French Wikiversity, which use all the files, many files from Lingua Libre, so we can you can hear the words. Another thing that that I want to mention is the the governance. Since the beginning of the project, we we made sure that the Atikamek First Nations were leading their own projects. And that led to other, other groups. So for example, in 2018, we the Wikimedian of North American Indigenous Languages was created and officially recognized. And that, that goal is just to expand the Atikamek project to other Indigenous languages in Canada and the US. Uh, we also created, they also created a wiki club. The wiki, um, I will butcher the name, but I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but the wiki club Metapec Kika, which is the traditional name of Manawan. And they founded it in 2017 and is still one of the most active wiki clubs in the country. And then here the, on the right, you see the picture of uh, Terrace Ottawa, which is the one of the coordinator of the project from the Atikamek community of Manawan since the since 2016. And she was elected to the board of directors of Wikimedia Canada uh, last year. So like that, we ensure that the when we lead indigenous projects or collaboration, that, that we have some input from from their perspective. And she was also part of the programs committee of Wikimedia Canada even, even before that. So some lesson learned that, that we gathered throughout this project is that there's a there's a very it's very important to establish a good relationship with the with the nation or with the community because I mean on the French and English Wikipedia, when when we lead uh, a Wikimedia Canada, when we launch initiative, 
we don't really and need to interact with everybody involved let's say with wiki loves monuments we put the campaign online and people contribute and we don't know them but for projects like that is very we found out that it's very important to have good personal relationship and the second point i already mentioned it is to make sure that the indigenous people are leading their own project and making the decision because it's their wikipedia or their their projects and i already mentioned the third point also that that we needed to get support and approval from their official authorities and then another important thing is to be flexible and open to new ideas not to arrive and push our preconceived ideas. And one example, it was during one of the meetings that, that we had with the working group is one person mentioned, but we don't, we don't because we mentioned that, that Wikipedia needs to be very affordable and that they need to, to have sources and references, but they say we don't have written materials in our language. And and one of the other Wikipedian present he said, Oh, that, that may be a problem because you need to reference. And I said, Why? I mean, there's that rule in, in the English and French and many other Wikipedia that a credible sources is uh, written, but but there's no such rule on the Atikamek Wikipedia. You make your own rule. I mean, there's the five basic uh, pillars of Wikipedia, but beside that, you make your own rules. So like that, they decided to include oral sources. And one funny thing that we keep mentioning is at the beginning, one person wrote as a footnote, their reference, the name of someone and his phone number. Well, obviously we, we removed the phone number now, but they still, they still um, mention the local historian as the, the reference. And other new, new ideas that emerge in, in Manawan is, is that some people don't know how to use computer very good so what they do is that on the radio they invite the local population to write articles on paper with a pen and paper and then to bring them to the wiki club who gave it to the students who can type it on the wikipedia during their computer class with, with proper attribution of course and the other point about being flexible is that we need to support their needs, not to push our own ideas. Maybe, maybe we, for the Atikamek Wikipedia work, but maybe it's not the first project for all indigenous nations or communities. When we talk to another nation in Quebec, we, we, we thought that they will want a Wikipedia, but what really interested them, it was Lingua Libre because they were paying a lot of money to a studio to do exactly what, what Lingua Libre can do for free. Uh, with 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 material that is cheap or other nation may prefer to start with a wiktionary instead of wikipedia so we, we need to be open to their ideas and then very important we need to learn about their history and their context and be very respectful that goes without saying because they may have their own costumes that are not exactly the same as us or something else that the academic mentioned since the beginning is that they have some knowledge that is only shared among a family clans. So that knowledge shouldn't be on Wikipedia because it's private. So it's something that needs to be respected. And then the last point is that we need to provide a lot of training and continuous support. We cannot go one day and say, here's your Wikipedia and disappear. There needs to be an involvement from from experimented Wikimedian through all the projects. And then here's the next steps for us in Canada is we want to continue to expand the Wikipedia project to the other academic communities. As I mentioned in the beginning, there's three communities. And right now it's, it's mainly concentrated in Manawan. So we want to involve the other dialects. And then we want to conduct similar projects with other indigenous communities in Canada to create Wikipedias or other Wikimedia projects in their own language. Then the, we want to make the user group that I mentioned more active. And then we, we want to continue to collaborate with other institutions and Wikimedia affiliates to, to promote that Wikimedia project can be a very good tool, free and useful 
easy to use for language revitalization effort. It cannot be the only effort to revive a language, but it can be very useful as part of as a global approach. So that's all I have to say, and I'm ready if there's any questions. Um, and from that. Thank you, uh, Jean-Philippe. Uh, we have uh, one question from, uh, from Kimberly. Uh, she is asking, uh, have you done any work with traditional knowledge labels for the knowledge that shouldn't be on Wiki? Yes, exactly. The, the, the academic they came up with a, a three layer approach. They said that there's some knowledge that cannot be on, on Wikipedia that is only the family. And then they, they, they said that some knowledge is kind of local. And so they decided we can write it in a TKMEC on our Wikipedia, but we won't put it ourselves on the English and French or Wikipedia, but maybe someone will translate it because it's, it's as open source. But I mean, how many people speak at TKMEC that are not part of their, their community? So that was a, a a risk that they were willing to take for some knowledge. And then there, there was the wider category of everything that they put on every Wikipedia. And on, their, on the academic Wikipedia, the one of contributor developed some labels actually, and, and there's medicinal knowledge or there's knowledge from the local historian that I mentioned, Gio Ottawa. So he developed some labels that he can put on the article just to ask, and it's, and it's not, of course, something that are, can be enforced because it's free, free license, but it's just asking people to be respectful. And we hope, we hope that people understand. Very nice. Uh, thank you. Um, I have, uh, let's see if there is another question uh, here. Um, no, that was from uh, Vignero. He says no questions, but thanks yeah. a lot. Uh, Amir is asking that he's a bit surprised that content translation is almost unused on the Atikamek uh, Wikipedia. Don't you translate any articles from other languages? Or do you prefer to write everything from scratch? Yeah, it's, I, the tool is not being used. That's true. And mainly that's because they are the articles are written by the students in class and they're developed from scratch. And that's another thing that I, I, I wanted to mention maybe in the be open to new ideas, the way that we structure knowledge in, in Occidental world may be different to the way that they structure language in indigenous communities. So maybe the Wikipedia page with introduction and all the sections and all the way that, that we do it is not the same way that they want to do it on their Wikipedia, which which the content translation cannot do because it translates section by section. So that's another reason. That's a very interesting uh, aspect. Uh, yeah. Um, no, that was not a question. Kim is uh, uh, responding, saying it sounds like a really great system. Thank you. Um, and Amir is, uh, no, Ramsey is asking something. I guess Amir will respond. If there are no more questions, I uh, I think we will conclude. Uh, if I can uh, say, uh, it has been so nice to see this uh, presentation. We have been uh, in touch with uh, art and feminism and almost got to meet Therese, but we never actually managed to have a meeting with her. Uh, but it's it's very nice to finally see like the whole um, overview of the work that has been done. It's very useful for us in our work, and I see it's uh, many others um, many others respond the same. So thank you very much, Jean Philippe.